Hey folks, I'm Mars 1952 and I'm going to show you how to make a, a simple filter to filter just about everything. I use this, um, I started using it to, to filter distilled water before I put it in my methanol uh, injection system. Um, I save water out of my dehumidifier and air conditioners and you know it gets a little crud in it so rather than put that through the engine I always filter it first. So the first thing I did is I picked up one of these at the scrapyard. This is the filter cage and funnel for a giant bun coffee machine. And that worked pretty good. Picked up some fil uh, oversized filters and you can do this with a regular size uh, coffee filter as well. It's just going to be slower. Um, and that worked great except you can imagine if I'm trying to pour it into a jug I got to balance it and by the time I get this full of oil or water it's gonna be real top heavy and I did tip over a few so um, I was gonna share that idea with you but then I got a better idea and that I use this large funnel I picked up a tractor supply and a piece of window screen it's left over from a repair job this is aluminum window screen and just fold it uh, in the same shape as a coffee basket you have to see how these uh, these parts are just sort of folded over. That serves two purposes. It makes it more round and it helps keep the filter off the side of the funnel. If you just put a, a filter in here, it would be useless except for the tiny little bit that would be open by the nozzle of the funnel. In this case, we've got this whole basket area that will allow oil to leak through. So you put that in there like so. Take a coffee filter. I picked these up at the local convenience store um, they sold me a handful of them for way too much they're really cheap I later bought um, a box of a thousand of them I think off of Amazon so I have way more than I'll ever use but they were not much more for a thousand than I paid for five bucks or like a dozen of these at the convenience store so you put your filter in there like so and then you pull your oil in I have some footage that I made earlier that I didn't have the microphone turned on I'll show you that. Okay, so I'm uh, pouring oil through the filter. Um, I had taken great pains to make sure this pan was nice and clean. I cleaned it with brake cleaner and wiped it out thoroughly. But there's still going to be debris in it. Uh, there may have been some in the transmission. And you just have to pour in a little bit, let it drain, pour in a little bit more. So here I'm trying to explain how the a basket keeps the paper filter from plastering to the funnel and allows it to drain over the entire surface of the paper. Without the wire mesh in there or some kind of a basket, uh, you, the filter just wouldn't work. I finished the first jug and, I, and it took quite a while and I got tired of pouring in and waiting, pouring in and waiting. So I was thinking there's a better way to do this. So I got a fresh filter, empty jug, and a full jug. So one gallon, one gallon. And I'm going to fasten this on to this um, hand truck like so. Suspend it over. And bungee strap it on. Like so. Maybe another bungee strap wouldn't hurt. Now the idea is I'm going to take that cap off. Oil will pour into the filter, come up to the edge, to the top of the lip of the jug, and not go any further. And the, as the oil drains through the filter, more oil will come out. So this will be like self-feeding, almost like a hummingbird feeder. So if this doesn't work, it should be good for a laugh. See how much of a mess I'm going to make here. So let's take off the, the cap without disturbing the filter.
Ooh, it might not be low enough. It is not low enough. It's going to go right over the top. No, that's just about right. It could be a fraction lower. It wouldn't hurt it any. I'm going to lower it a little bit here. All right, so that should do its thing. Um, unlike the glass bottles on the hummingbird feeder, the plastic is compressing because of the vacuum in the bottle. Now I can go off and do something else. So when you do this, should you be so foolish as to follow my advice, um, Keep in mind that that paper filter and screen are going to set down in there once it gets some weight of the oil on it. So it's actually it's easier to lower it than it is to raise it because of the way the straps work. But uh, it's better to be a little too low than a little too high. You can see how as it drains it more of the oil glugs out. So this is the filter uh, that I used to filter this gallon of fluid. I was real careful to try to keep the, the hydraulic fluid clean, but as you can see there's some debris in here. Now some of that might have been in the transmission already, but most of it probably is um, just from dust blowing around and so forth. And see there's even some insects in there. So anyway, this is nice and clean now, and uh, I can temporarily reuse it. Well, I'm still fooling around with uh, straining this oil off and on, and I came up with a better way to do this. You remember how I got my hands all gunked up taking the cap off? Obviously, that works, but um, I was digging around and I found a couple of these. I was looking for more bottles to drain into. I bought these years ago on clearance, They're made in USA multi-purpose spouts. This is Pro Max Spill Buster 12-in-1 Spout. Let's get up there where you can see it. It's got a little valve on it and a multi-purpose threaded cap. See that on, comes off. And nowadays um, the oil cans that I use don't fit these threads because you know the manufacturers change the threads every couple hours to save a hundredth of a cent. So but it will thread onto this bottle, at least it did. So it threads onto this bottle. So I can put this on here. Actually, I was gonna do this other one because this one's been used and the other one hasn't. Oops, make sure you don't do it too tight. Okay, so now it's off. That's on. Off. Ouch. Seems like that gets in the way, doesn't it? On. It doesn't have to be fully open anyway. Okay, so it's off. I don't need this part, so I can just thread that off. And I'll fill this up with oil and drain it. But in the meantime, um, I've got to let this finish draining. I change the filters on every gallon. Okay, I've got another gallon ready to go. Um, shorten this up a little bit. All right, so I had a little disappointment here. These coffee filters, I think I've been saying that I got them from Amazon. I got them from Sam's Club. But they're too small. They're not as small as the ones I got at the convenience store, or not as big as the convenience store ones. So I sort of, I put one in the middle and added three around to give me a little bit more depth. But that's going to make it filter really slow. But I can still show you this next thing here. So here's the valve. Put that sucker on there. It's off. Turn it upside down. Hook it up. 
recording, right? Might have to raise that up a little bit. No, that looks okay. And bungee are on there. All right, that looks pretty good. Except it's leaking. All right, let's see if I can turn it on. Okay, so it's leaking right here, I'm not getting a good seal. So that didn't work. But if I had one that fit, it would work pretty well. So take that for what it's worth, uh, not much.